A big day ahead Tuesday as Colorado voters select who will be on the November ballot. And that includes who will face off against Democratic incumbent Senator Michael Bennett. Two men, State Representative John, or Ron Hanks and businessman Joe O'Day, are vying for the Republican bid. Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez shows us where the two stack up on some of the country's biggest issues. Talks of a red wave coming in the midterm elections mean Senator Michael Bennett's seat could be vulnerable. First, though, there's the primaries. Bennett has no Democratic challenger, but there are two on the Republican side, businessman Joe O'Day and State Representative Ron Hanks. O'Day has run a construction company for 34 years. Hanks is a state lawmaker, a 32-year military veteran, and he previously ran for Congress in California. O'Day sat down with Denver 7 for an interview. Hanks so far has not. Here's where the two stand on key issues. First up, election security. Biden's our president. I've said that the day one I got into this race. He's a lousy president. There's a lot of things here in Colorado that we can do to shore up the security around our voting system. Do you believe in mail-in voting? I do. Uh, my wife and I voted here uh, last week. Hanks, meanwhile, has been one of the most vocal critics of the 2020 election, telling us in an April interview. So these systems are corrupted. we got to get rid of them and it doesn't really matter what it costs. Hanks was at the January 6th rally, but says he did not go into the Capitol. He also says he went to Arizona twice after the 2020 election. He sided with Tina Peters, who faces felony charges for tampering with election equipment. He's spoken at election truth rallies and defended John Eastman, the lawyer accused of trying to help Trump overturn the election. There's another lawsuit out there uh, that John Eastman is running, and that is, and he was uh, President Trump's uh, lawyer on the case that was uh, Texas versus Pennsylvania that the Supreme Court said did not have standing, which is rather remarkable, but so be it. Um, but he, I'd say he's top tier, top shelf lawyer. Another area the candidates differ, abortion. On the campaign trail, Hank says he doesn't believe in abortions for any reason. Life begins at conception and the government should protect it from that moment. O'Day is against late-term abortions and taxpayer money being used for any abortion, but... I don't believe in a total ban. I believe that decision is between a woman and her doctor, her God. And so I believe also that you can't mandate things. He says even if you outlaw abortions, they'll still happen, just illegally. On climate change, once again, the different candidates have different views. For Hanks... I don't want to sit here and pretend climate change is a, is a real issue. It's called weather. O'Day has said in the past he believes man is playing a role in climate change. But in our interview... Look, there's no doubt that the climate is changing. Everybody can agree that it is getting warmer. Um, how much of it's caused by man-made, how much of it's natural, I think there's a debate there still to be had. What would you like to see done about guns, and, and would you support some of the, the proposed changes that the Senate is now considering? Well, it's, it's good to see that they're having conversations around mental health. Um, I, I don't believe you can legislate against evil. O'Day wants more police officers in schools and communities. He supports teachers carrying guns, and he doesn't think red flag laws are working. Hanks is an ardent Second Amendment defender. I would not infringe on our Second Amendment rights with the crime rate going up as it is. He ran a bill in the legislature for constitutional carry of a handgun and another to repeal magazine capacity limits. Both failed. On border security, both men say they want to see the wall completed. But on immigration, when it comes to dreamers or people brought to the U.S. illegally as children. They're here of, their, of no fault of their own. I, I think we should find a path to citizenship for them. Um, you know, who's going to take them all home? That doesn't make any sense at all. On Ukraine, both have criticized President Biden's handling of Russia. What further actions do you think the U.S. could or should take to try to bring it to an end? We should make sure that we give Ukrainians anything that they need so that we can make sure they can defend themselves, defend their freedom, because if they don't stop him there, where does he stop? In a recent debate, Hank said the U.S. shouldn't be selling weapons to Ukraine because we need to have a relationship with Russia in the future. Finally, their political records. O'Day doesn't have one because he's never been elected to office at any level. I'm not a career politician. People in Colorado are ready for something different. But he did settle a lawsuit last year with an employee who claimed age and disability discrimination. All those allegations are patently false. 
Uh, she left disgruntled. As a state representative, Hanks does have a political record. In his two legislative sessions, he's introduced six total bills, including two dealing with elections. One would have required specialized paper ballots. The other would have required in-person voting and hand counting. All of his bills have failed. He was also absent on 57 of 104 committee votes this year and 91 of 523 final House votes. Ultimately, it will be up to voters to decide which of these two candidates should take on Michael Bennett. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. And as Megan mentioned, Ron Hanks has not yet agreed to sit down with us for an interview. You can watch the full Joe Day interview on our website, our YouTube page, or on Denver 7 Plus.